What's up everyone, Carter here, and in this video I want to go over how you can make some amazing, amazing money selling used books on Amazon, just like this. You know, there's nothing special about these books, old textbooks, books about something that I would never ever be interested in in my life. Um, there's a lot of people out here posting videos on YouTube, you know, make money online, do this, and you'll have a passive income stream. And I don't think they ever actually run the business, they're just posting for content. Let me tell you, I've been selling books online on Amazon since the age of 15. Past four years of my life, I've had experience reselling all sorts and kind of books on Amazon. That's why I want to post this video because there's a lot of people out here, um, you that's watching this video, you're watching this video for a reason. Maybe you're wanting to create an extra income stream. Maybe you're just wanting to make some more money um, so you can go on vacations or maybe you can help pay for rent or maybe you're looking for a way to potentially quit your job. This business model allows that for you and used books are the best place to start. Hey, what if I told you that you could actually go to garage sales, thrift stores, book sales and buy books just like this for a 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars and consistently sell them for 15, 20, $50 plus on Amazon. Well, I actually want to show you some proof because I know there's a lot of people out here that, oh, you know, everyone's talking about this and never showing proof. I'm going to show you a couple of books I have on hand with me right now. I'm going to throw some screenshots up there as well. Um, this book I plan on selling for around $300 on Amazon. Um, this one I plan on selling for about $73. New condition, 300, 400,000 sales rank. That's amazing. Um, this book right here, I put, this is an easy, probably $40 sale, used condition. Um, this one is about probably six, fifteen, sixteen dollars. So that's kind of like a bread and butter sale. Um, then I got um, two more of these books. I think one sells for about thirty-one dollars, and the other sells for around twenty-five. Two different versions. So I mean, I just went through what like five, six books right there, um, and the estimated sales value was well, well over five hundred dollars. Um, now, what if I told you I probably averaged about a dollar or a dollar fifty in buy cost per book? Pretty insane. Now that I've caught your attention, now that you've kind of understood, um, you know, what to expect and what you can, um, you know, expect to see while running an Amazon book business from an experienced Amazon seller. Um, now I want to go over some of the benefits of starting an Amazon book business. The first thing is it is dog cheap to start. Oh my gosh! Like I just showed you. Like a dollar and twenty-five cents on average to buy that book, they were selling for forty dollars, three hundred dollars, um, twenty-five dollars, thirty dollars. You know, there's not many different businesses or investments out there where you can get that kind of return. So definitely, the first thing is just the actual buy cost and the actual um, startup cost to run this business. I mean, the inventory is like extremely, extremely cheap to purchase. Um, the only other costs are going to be shipping expenses um, and just the fees associated with selling that item on Amazon. Now the second benefit to running and starting an Amazon book selling business is the margins. I just showed you what probably five or six books that were selling for insane amounts, $40, $35, $25, $300. Um, was another one in there for like 70 and I purchased them for like a dollar or dollar 25 cents each so I mean the margins are absolutely insane I don't know any other business models out there where you can really turn a dollar to thirty dollars or twenty dollars or fifteen dollars consistently or any other investment that can do that I mean I remember when I taught one of my good friends from high school um, you know he was probably working for I think maybe like eight or nine dollars an hour at his job um, I told him how to sell on Amazon two months in he sells a book for three hundred and sixty five dollars that he sold for that he bought for one dollar. So one dollar into three hundred and sixty-five dollars. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. The third benefit to starting an Amazon book selling business is the scalability of the actual business selling books. Because I mean, literally, you're turning a dollar into thirty dollars. You take that profit and invest it back in the business. It just keeps going up and up and up. And the reason I love selling on Amazon and especially utilizing the FBA program is I'm able to take all of my products. Let's say I have a hundred books. I, you know, I prep, I ship a hundred books to the Amazon warehouse and they will store them for me for like a low monthly fee. Like, you know, a book, you know, a book of this size is pretty big. It could, this could cost maybe like 10 or 12 cents a month to store, which is literally nothing considering that you probably bought it for a dollar and you're probably selling it for 20 or $30. And the great thing is once that product actually sells on Amazon, someone buys this book for $20 on Amazon, the Amazon fulfillment team is going to pick, pack and ship your book, two day shipping to the customer. 
So you don't have to worry about anything. You're literally just gonna have a payment deposited into your Amazon seller account. So Carter, how can I reach $100 per hour? I mean, you put it in the thumbnail, you put it in the title. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and show you an hour length of what you should be doing to make $100 per hour. There's three things, sourcing, shipping, and scaling. Those three things will lead you to $100 per hour and beyond. Sourcing, basically you're going out to different garage sales, you're going to thrift stores, you're going to book sales, um, you know, you're offering to buy bulk buys um, from different local marketplaces like OfferUp or Craigslist. Like you're consistently grinding and, you know, trying to find different opportunities to purchase large amounts of books that you could potentially resell on Amazon for a profit. The second thing is shipping. Once you purchase those products, you can't just let them sit in your house. You need to be able to package them, prep them, and ship them to an Amazon warehouse because then once Amazon receives the books, they put them back on Amazon for sale so you have the opportunity to create sales um, for your different products. The third thing is scaling. You know, finding different ways to be more efficient. You know, what, maybe you've got past the stage of scanning with your phone. Um, you know, maybe you invest in a Bluetooth scanner so you, you know you can, you can scan 10 times faster. Um, you know, maybe you've invested in some different, you know, local marketplaces, um, you know, Craigslist, offer up, maybe have some different connections, or maybe you're trying to do bulk buys. Um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity that goes into the business. You just need to be able to realize it. You need to be able to take the risk. You need to be able to take action and invest money in the business, and you will get and you will reach your goal. So if you are interested in starting your own Amazon book selling business or just you're ready to start making money on Amazon and you know you're looking for a piece of content to start with, the first link in the description of this video, um, I have a link to my cheat list of the top 25 most profitable products to resell on Amazon. So obviously the first one is books. In that cheat sheet, there's 24 more products that you can consistently purchase just about anywhere and resell on Amazon. So once again, it's 100% free. There's no credit card information required. Um, so definitely go ahead and check out that. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. So hopefully you all like this video. I tried to get some good examples in there, try to throw up some screenshots, try to just give you guys a visual of you know what you can expect and just some proof that people are actually out here you know, doing this for a living. Um, you know, I'm very transparent and honest in my videos. I try to give the best value that I can. So I really hope you guys appreciate that. So please drop a like on this video. Comment below if you have any questions regarding anything I went over in this video. And if you wanna see more content dish like this on how you can create an extra stream of income online, then subscribe to this channel and I'll see everyone in the next video.